Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 16th of November. Goodness, very active weather day across the state. Uh, spotty, severe weather, some tornado warnings, and the biggest issues were uh, really on the eastern side of the state this afternoon and in West Alabama this morning. Uh, we'll show you some of the images, uh, a few of them sent to us. This was a uh, supercell storm with a possible tornado that was taken near Wellington. Uh, in Calhoun County, that came right through uh, Jacksonville. In fact, look at that shot. That's gorgeous. That's uh, from Chimney Peak overlooking Jacksonville. If you look carefully down there in the distance, you can see the uh, library on the campus. And look at the wall cloud. Off to the right, you've got the heavy rain shaft. Back in the, the left there, you got the rain-free base and a nice wall cloud. Uh, no tornado touching down at Jacksonville, but uh, there was some uh, scattered tree damage there. And really, the big story seems to be around Auburn. Uh, that's a look at a trailer park in the western part of Auburn, hit by a possible tornado at midday today. Uh, we know of no major injuries there, th thank goodness. And also some pretty significant damage around Demopolis in West Alabama about 7 o'clock this morning. So a uh, pretty busy day today. There's one Skycam shot that's coming from Hamilton, and by golly, they are in the 50s. They're back in the cool air, the cold front roughly along Interstate 59, as I do this update. Well, there's the uh, big upper trough supporting the severe weather across the southeastern states today. The uh, axis is still west of the state. And down below that, again, the surface boundary, roughly Interstate 59. Gadsden to Birmingham to Tuscaloosa at 2 o'clock. And uh, behind it, it's much cooler. In fact, let me just show you the temperatures. Uh, you can pick out that front yourself. you got 74 in Tuscaloosa, 56 in Haleyville. And the cool air wins the battle for a while. We'll be in much cooler air tomorrow and on Friday. There's the radar. That's at 2.30. And for Alabama, the severe weather risk is over except for the southeastern corner of the state. Uh, the most active weather is over into Georgia now where more tornadoes have touched down there. And if you look really carefully, uh, you, can, you can pick out the cold front with that little band of showers between Anniston and Gadsden. And uh, that will be moving well to the south of here this evening. And around the nation, look at the cold air back behind that front. Pretty brisk up there with uh, temperatures only in the uh, 20s at mid-afternoon over parts of the uh, northwestern states. There's our tornado watch until 9 o'clock Eastern time tonight, 8 o'clock Central. That's basically from Dothan to Greenville, South Carolina. And that's where we have a slight risk, the standard risk of severe weather from near Panama City Beach, Apalachicola, up to Georgia, the Carolinas, and up to the Tidewater area. All right, let's look at the uh, modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow. Trough is moving east. Down below that, we are in pretty chilly air. Going to be, uh, I think the sun comes out. I think it will be mostly sunny, but definitely breezy and cooler with a high only in the uh, 50s. The, the NAM is showing a high of only 53 now. And the GFS at 55, and, and compared to the mild days of late, it's going to feel very brisk. And there's Friday, and it sure looks like we'll start the day now below freezing. All the guidance numbers are coming down. Uh, both the GFS and the NAM are at 31. So a freeze Friday morning. The high Friday afternoon should be around 60. There's Saturday. Winds coming out of the south already. Evidence of maybe a few showers down in southwest Alabama. Up this way, we'll call it partly sunny. We'll leave it dry with uh, mid-60s. And then Sunday, the, the better chance of showers off to the north and west. I guess you might mention the, uh, just a chance of a shower in spots on Sunday, but they should be widely spaced and will be up there at or over 70. And Monday, there's the deal. 588 Ridge nosing in from the Gulf, a deep trough south of California and Arizona. And down below that, the front kind of hangs up north and west of here. Very mild. Uh, the GFS showing 75, and I think that's very uh, doable. Mild, muggy, really warm and muggy. And, and again, there could be a shower, but nothing widespread because of the ridge. There's Tuesday, the ridge hanging tough. Again, we'll be well up in the 70s, and if this is right, the big rains north and west of here will be mostly dry. And Wednesday, the biggest travel day of the year. If you uh, are traveling, pick out your destination and uh, this is suggesting a chance of showers here, a pretty good chance of showers, maybe some thunder, but no severe weather. Uh, the, you know, a few days ago, we showed you heavy rain around Chicago. Well, now that's well to the east. In fact, this is almost suggesting maybe a chance of snow for parts of interior New England with the surface low east of Cape Cod. So we'll see if that verifies. And again, you know, this is a week out, so this could change, but it looks like we'll have showers on uh, Wednesday. Then Thanksgiving Day looks relatively dry now for us. 
not especially cool uh, with the surface high to the uh, northeast of us and the front kind of hanging up down south. And in Black Friday, the 25th, ooh, the moisture feed comes right back. And if this is right, it would be very mild with a chance of showers on Friday, the 25th. But again, this is voodoo country, so that could change. Well, uh, <coughs> excuse me, go out there <coughs> a, a couple of more days on the 28th. And hey, look at that. Wow. That's a monster trough across the southeastern states. The uh, surface low reflect, well, reflection is, in, is at Asheville, North Carolina. And goodness, with that cold air loft, you have to wonder if we might see a few little uh, chunks of grapple or hail or maybe a snowflake or two with that. And then uh, the end of the forecast on the 2nd of December. We've still got the ridge nosing in here. The trough is out west, and if that's right, the weather around here would be relatively quiet. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.